Hi, welcome back. This is Mr. Tipton, and today we are combining fractions. This is more stuff uh, that's a review, really. You did this in elementary school, uh, but not with the negatives. So we just uh, add in the negative rules that we already um, have learned this year and apply it to what we know about combining fractions, and we can do this no problem. First of all, pretty much when you're combining fractions, adding or subtracting, you must make equivalent fractions that have a common denominator. Okay, that's going to be the, uh, the most important part of combining the fractions. Now, first thing, we've got a negative and a positive, uh, which means we're going to be subtracting our two fractions, and 7 eighths is larger than 1 third. If you need a quick little way of telling which fraction is is bigger. Um, I always do the trick of multiplying diagonally and up. 8 times 1 is 8. 3 times 7 is 21. 21 is greater than 8, so 7 eighths is greater than 1 third. So I know I'm going to be subtracting, and I also know that 7 eighths is the bigger fraction, the stronger fraction, so my answer is going to be negative. All right. Um, oops, I actually did not want to write that over again. I wanted to have a common denominator. 8 and 3 both go into what number? 24. 24 is the least common multiple of 8 and 3. How many times does 8 go into 24? 3 times. So, we're going to multiply the 7 by 3 to get 21. Okay, I'll just, so we know what we're doing, I multiplied by 3 to get down here. And 3 times what is 24? Is times 8. So 1 times 8 is 8. And again, we are subtracting because the signs are different. 21 minus 8 is equal to 13 twenty-fourths, and we said that the seven-eighths is a stronger number than one-third, so it's going to be negative thirteen twenty-fourths. Let's do another. Here we have two-sevenths plus negative one-fourth, which I'm going to rewrite in OSC form. I don't like adding a negative, but that is the same thing as subtracting. So 2 sevenths minus 1 fourth. Okay, we do need to make sure that, um, or we need to see which one is larger. So again, we'll do 7 times 1 is 7. 4 times 2 is 8. So 2 sevenths is greater than 1 fourth, so we need to make sure that we subtract the 1 fourth away from the 2 sevenths. So we are set up like we want to be. Common denominator for 7 and 4 is 28, and that's a times 4, so 2 becomes an 8, and this is a times 7, so the 1 becomes a 7. Different signs we are subtracting, 8 minus 7 is 1, 28. Moving on. Uh, mixed numbers. A couple of different ways to do mixed number problems. Um, I'm going to start by writing my problem in OSC form. 2 and 2 fifths, subtracting a negative, same thing as adding 1 and 3 fourths. Now when we're adding, I like to just do the whole numbers. Take the 2 plus the 1 and switch colors and I'll just put it over here. The 2 plus 1 is 3. And now I'll just worry about the fraction part. Your other option is you could make both of these improper fractions and do it that way. Um, if I did that, see, 5 times 2 plus 2 would give me 12 fifths. And 4 times 1 plus 3 gives me 7 fourths. Uh, you can definitely do it that way. I just think working with the numbers, or with the fractions, two-fifths 
and three-fourths is going to be a little cleaner. And if you're subtracting, uh, you almost definitely want to go ahead and convert to improper fractions. But on, on adding, you, you don't have to. You can just add the numbers together. Anyway, common denominator is 20. This is a times 4. 5 times 4 is 20. So 2 times 4 is 8. And 4 times 5 gets us 20. Oh gosh, that was supposed to be a 5. So 3 times 5 is 15. So when we add our 20ths, 8 and 15 is 23 20ths. All right, you can't have an improper fraction as a part of a mixed number. So we're actually going to have to make this 23 20ths. That's going to give us one extra whole number. Give us 4 and 3 20ths. We took, we took a 20 out of here to get us the 3. And 4 and 3 20ths is the final answer. All right. That was just a quick review of combining fractions and showed you the negative stuff, which you've learned already as well. If you have any questions, need any other reminders, write them down and come to class ready to talk about them. See you soon.